Always refer to your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures. And always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. Hi, I'm Jack Rooney. And I'm Nick Johnson. Welcome back. This is where we talk about tips and tricks to help you improve the performance of your diesel engine, extend the life of your diesel engine, and really eliminate the downtime uh, associated with uh, lack of maintenance and some of those other things uh, that we're going to talk about today, Nick. So let's talk about maintenance, but let's apply it to severe duty applications. Yeah. And why don't you just maybe take us through what that really means? Yeah. So severe duty applications really are those extremes, right? So we're talking about the dirty environments, really dusty, high particulate matter extreme colds or extreme highs and uh, also the loads right really high load, load you know we're really stressing that engine or really low load where we're not so yeah low loads actually considered kind of an extreme duty for an engine as well okay. high idle time and things yep, like absolutely. that absolutely what do you think is the most important part of maintenance or the most important thing we should be looking at well fuel systems have pretty tight clearances right so i'm just going to guess the fuel filter mm, how about this air filter okay and then wow. you know look at what we're <laughs> I mean, we're just tapping on this thing and look at all this dust. Right, so and it makes sense. You know, all of that dust can end up in the lubrication system, right? It will. It, it won't just end up on the air side system. Right. It'll eventually end up with a lubrication system. Really destroys the engine from inside Absolutely. out. So when we talk about extending your engine life, key, right, on Number an air filter. So what would you recommend there? Well, we definitely won't do, don't want to just come here with a blow gun and blow this stuff everywhere, okay. right? right? Because it's going to go everywhere. Absolutely. And it's going to get in the engine. But, you know, we could use a, a shot vac and suck some of it up. The other thing we can do is, you know, we'll take this condensate cap off and you can see how much stuff's in here now. But we can just take this off to the side and just get that dirt and dust out of there and then put your shot back down here and sweep down in, you know, the inside there. Awesome. Hey, I see there's another filter there. So this there must is. be like a pre-cleaner type filter and then we have a secondary yep. filter in so there. So this is our main air filter, right? This is gonna catch most of the contaminant, but we do have a secondary filter in here. Um, we're going to change that secondary filter about every other time that we change the main filter. And this is really just to protect the engine if we possibly burst this filter or something got past it. Right? Sure. So it's just a second level of protection for the engine. So know what your engine's trying to tell you. The easiest way, obviously, is just to pay attention to those check engine lights, right? Those warning lamps that come on. We do never want to ignore those. What are some other things, Nick, that well, we, we can got, look at? You know, we got those problem indicators we kind of talk about, right? Like weird noises. The engine's starting to make some weird noises. Uh, your oil consumption's going up. Fuel consumption's going up. You got a loss of power. You know, the machine's not doing what it used to. How do I manage all those different factors and determine whether I have a severe DD application? Well, really it's with the scheduled oil sampling, right? So with oil sampling, we can look at things like wear metals. We can look at how the oil is wearing itself. So are we breaking the oil down, right? right? I bet you can see silica in those oil sample analysis yep. too, which so is that's... basically dirt. One of the things I love about oil sample analysis, Nick, is really lets you dial in your operations. Yep. Do I change my oil at 250 hours? Or maybe 1,000 hours. Who it could knows? be 1,000 hours. Right, but if I get consistent oil sample analysis done throughout the life of the oil, yep. I can really dial it in and maybe not be wasting money changing my oil too soon or yeah. wasting money not changing it soon enough and right. losing my engine. Absolutely. We're starting to get where we're, we're talking about, you know, filters, extended oil change intervals, all those things. None of it means anything unless you use cat fluids and filters uh, to determine what your maintenance intervals will be. We design the solutions with cat filters and with cat oil. If I use the other uh, the other person, somebody else's filters and oils, I, I can't tell you that those same recommendations are actually going to line up with where you need to be in your operation. So it's always important to use cat filters uh, and fluids. You know, Nick, we've talked about a ton here. So let's book in this. You know, what if I just say, oh, Jack, it's too much. Yeah. What do I need to do? You, you got, you're over my head already. You're over my head already. I just want to run a machine and let someone else take care of yeah. all that stuff you just so, talked so about. So the dealer can take care of it, right? So we've, got, we've got the customer value agreements or the CBAs and they fit any budget, any machine. Right, know. it's not really a one size fits all, right? It's no. a maintenance contract for anybody's budget. Yeah, um, and no it could, be from, it could be from just you know, your mate basic oil changes and all that, all the way to, they're already right. out here to fix the truck. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of condition monitoring technology and connecting yeah. the asset back to Caterpillar or back to your dealer so that they can actually monitor your, your fleet while it's operating. 
Hey, so thanks again for joining Nick and I on Component Moment. Uh, come back next time where we're gonna just keep talking more and more about uh, tips and tricks to improve the performance of your Caterpillar engine, increase productivity, limit downtime, and extend the life of that engine. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.